All right, so somebody was asking about Stripe and no code, and I thought I'd make a very quick tutorial um, with a test app that I created to kind of demonstrate this. So uh, this was made in Adalo, um, my favorite no code tool. And it's a very simple marketplace, so don't expect it to have bells and whistles and fancy designs. It's just a skeleton. Uh, there's nobody signed up for it. There's no products in it right now. So we're gonna go and join. And again, no extra features, usernames and full names. Let's just make hello um, world.com, one, two, three, join. And here's where uh, things get interesting. So connect with Stripe. So we have this component in Adalo. You could also hard code it. Um, most no code apps already come with this uh, component or plugin. So we're gonna use it. Uh, there are ways that we can customize this, but let's connect with Stripe. And sure enough, we go to this OAuth uh, page from Stripe. Uh, I'm in development mode, so I can actually skip this. But just so you know, this is what your customers would actually see. So you would be able to customize this form have your uh, brand up there, your name up here, called the Marketplace app. And so every customer will have to fill out this form unless of course they're Stripe customers already. But let's assume they're not. And so this is pretty straightforward stuff. It's not that tedious, you know, it's... Um, so you put your info and of course your banking information so that you can get paid. You as in the customer. So we as a platform have done that in the background already. I'm just showing you this little interface situation and if you have questions about how to set up Stripe and how to set up Adalo and all that kind of stuff, we can go into it, but we're gonna skip this for now. We're gonna get this success message. We can now close this window and just like magic, the Stripe account has been connected. So I made this button right here, which only shows up when there's an account associated with this email. We're gonna continue. And you have no products. Perfect. So we can now make a new product and we can call it Hello World and it's $10 and we can create it. And sure enough, now we have a product called Hello World and it's $10. This zero represents how many customers, how many purchases we have. Okay, so we can look at the details, we can delete it, um, how long ago this was created, the net revenue, and how many customers. So I'm gonna go back for a second. I'm gonna leave, which is log out. And I'm gonna look for Hello World. Now, I set this search up to look for users. Um, we could do this in a way that we can look through the database of um, products or any other parameter. So in this case, we can see the only user that exists. And this is another profile page. Hello World has products, one product of um, Hello World $10. Um, and now we have this checkout page. So um, send myself a receipt, go by earth.com. Um, I didn't set this up. I can show you how to do this in SendGrid or uh, Zapier, anything else. Uh, we're in test mode again in Stripe and we're gonna use Stripe's test card, which is, uh, I gotta count 16 digits, it's a 4242 uh, times uh, you know 16 or yeah, times eight. Uh, any date in the future should suffice, one, two, three, I'm gonna pay, and it's gonna be successful, perfect. So uh, if I actually go through, if I actually were to show you my Stripe dashboard, which I can, I just have to blur out a bunch of stuff and I could do it later, uh, you would see that this is a, an actual charge in test mode, of course, on Stripe. So this has been successful. Um, and if I now were to enter our account again, hello world.com, uh, guess what? On our dashboard, we're going to have one glorious purchase with a net revenue of 941. What does that mean? It's $10 minus 2.9%, which is what Stripe takes. Um, 
and minus 30 cents. And the customer is the customer that I created by saying, send me a receipt. This information is also um, on your Stripe dashboard.